Before starting with this video, make sure you have watched configure user and graph settings for Trade Tiger so that your tools are configured and can be used easily. We'll be starting with the demand zone and supply zone tool. Before using these tools, you first have to identify your starting and the ending of the zone. Let's assume that on this chart, this is where my supply zone will be starting from and this is where my supply zone will be ending at. Once I have identified the starting of my zone and end of my zone, now applying this tool is very very easy. Simply select the supply zone from the tool menu at the top. Now start from your entry point, left click on your mouse. Without releasing the left mouse key, drag and drop it to your ending of the zone and release the left mouse key and you'll have your supply zone on the chart. We will follow the same steps for demand zone. Let's imagine I want to use this area as my demand zone. Again, I have to identify the starting of my zone and the ending of my zone. Once I've identified the starting and the ending, I'll select the demand zone tool from the tool menu. Start from the entry point by left clicking and without releasing the left mouse key, I'll drag and drop it to the ending position and leave the left mouse key and I'll have my demand zone. Let's do this again once for another demand area. Let's imagine this is where I want to mark my next buying area. I'll again identify my starting point of the zone and the ending point of my zone. I'll select my demand zone tool from the tool menu. I'll start from the entry point by left clicking on my mouse and without leaving the left mouse key, I'll bring my mouse to the ending point and now leave my mouse key. This is how we use demand and supply zone tool. Let's move to the next tool, which is retracement line. Let's assume I want to divide this area between my demand zone and supply zone into three equal parts. To do this, I'll select the tool from the top. I'll left click from the entry point of any of the zone and without leaving the mouse button, drag and drop to the next entry point. And now I'll leave my left mouse key. This will help you divide the area into three equal parts. The next tool we'll be using is Fibonacci extension. This will help us plot our 1 is to 1s, 2 is to 1s and 3 is to 1s on the chart. Let me remove this tool. Assuming this is my entry point for the supply zone. And this is my stop loss for this supply zone. Because I want to see my 1 is to 1s, 2 is to 1s, 3 is to 1s. Select the Fibonacci extension tool from the top. Start from your entry line by clicking the left mouse key. And while keeping the key pressed, drag and drop it to your stop loss line and now leave the left mouse key. Once you leave the left mouse key, you will see the tool is still attached with your mouse. Bring it back to your entry line and again click the left mouse key. And now you will be able to see your 1 is to 1s, 2 is to 1s and 3 is to 1s. Because this tool will be used for both demand areas and supply areas, that is the reason you have your 1 is to 1s and 2 is to 1s on the other side and are irrelevant to us. Let's use this tool again with demand zone. I'll remove these tools. And let's assume this is my entry point and this is my stop loss. I'll select the tool from the top. We'll start from the entry line by left clicking the mouse without leaving the left click. I'll drag and drop to the stop loss line. The tool is still attached. I'll bring it back to my entry line and left click. Again, you can see your 1 is to 1s, 2 is to 1s, 3 is to 1s, but we also have 1 is to 1 and 2 is to 1 on the other side, which is irrelevant.